you see guys the clouds are moving very fast soon that huge gray cloud will close the sun and it will be dull again so <laughs> this sun was during maybe five or six minutes not very long so <laughs> but we were lucky to film a little bit for you with the presence of sun I was also asked about the price of houses here. Well, you know, it depends upon the particular house. If it is an old house, so the price will be very cheap. If it is a new house, a modern house, so the price will be about two or three million rubles for uh, such house. But you know, even if you buy a very old house, you are going to pay much because the land in the Moscow region is very expensive. For example, uh, this piece of land, uh, 20 to 30 meters, uh, this small dacha will be about 1 million rubles, only the land. Then you must also add the price of the house. So the land plus a good house, that will be about 4 or 5 million rubles. But we are speaking only about the Moscow region. Because in Moscow region, if it is very close to Moscow, for example, this Dutch community is about 30 kilometers from Moscow. That is about 20 miles. So the land here is very expensive. So it doesn't matter whether you have an old house or a new house, you're going to pay a lot. Mr. Handsome Sheffield, would you be so kind to go? <laughs> Sheffy, come here. Let's go home, Sheffy. Mr. Handsome Sheffield. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> he is afraid of the car. Last year uh, he hurt his leg and from that time he is afraid of the car. Sheffy, come on. Let's go home. So we decided to go along the other road just to show you how it looks like here. Over there, I told you a few videos ago, we have the house of our boss, big boss. That small building, you will see it in a few seconds, that is <laughs> the house of our management. <laughs> uh, this one, the grey building, Alex, stop a little. Yeah. This little building, that is where the management of this Dutch community works. It works two or three times during the months. Usually that is during Saturday, a few hours. They take money <laughs> and close their office. <laughs> that is the storage of our Dutch community. So if it is interesting for you, write in comments. I will publish a small video about the interior <laughs> of this house. So, but I may tell you that when I was a small kid, nothing has changed since uh, that time. The way it looks many years ago, the same way it looks now. Nothing has changed <laughs> for maybe <laughs> 30 years. That is almost the exit from this community. To the left now you will see the security office. <laughs> In winter we do not have security, only during summer period that is the security office, it is closed and that is the modern system <laughs> of opening <laughs> the gates. So we have a special card, Alex show us the card, and the gates open automatically. Do they close also automatically? 
Yes? Yes. That is good. Because if you are not a very strong man, it is very difficult for you to close those gates. Ow! The road is horrible. That is the bus stop from the city. You may get here by bus or it is very close to the railway station. It is called Fryadina Pasajerska, about 15 minutes on foot. So rather convenient if you live, for example, in Moscow, you may very easily get here by train, by commuter train uh, from Komsomolska metro station, from Yaroslavsky railway station. Uh, you can get here by train in, uh, in about one hour. And then about 15 minutes on foot and you are on your dacha. So, that is why uh, the land here is also more expensive than in other places because, well, if you have a bus, a good bus system, if you have a railway station not far from your dacha, so uh, the price of your dacha will be higher. That is the railway station Fryadina Tavarne. If you would like to see it on your Google Maps, so Fryadina Tavarne. And now we are going in the direction of Fryadina Pasajerska. That is the end of this railway. The final stop. So, if you can get to your dachi during winter, if uh, it is possible to get to your dacha by car, if you have a railway station very close to your dacha, if you can get there by bus, so the price will be of your dacha very high. In our dacha community, even small pieces of land are rather expensive, about half a million rubles for a small piece of land here. Someone asked uh, if we have bought this Dutch. No, this Dutch belonged to my granny. And so I may tell you that it is our family Dutch. <laughs> but my parents have their own Dutch. Unfortunately, my mom is against filmmaking on her Dutch. That is why I can't show you her Dutch. She is a very good gardener, but she doesn't let me film on her. Dacha. So, and this old dacha belonged to my granny, and uh, my granny died many years ago, and now we own this dacha. So, Alex builds everything, and I fight with the weeds. <laughs> so, but my dream is to build a small house and not grow a lot there. We want just uh, to go there for weekends to cook some food on the fire, to go to the forest or to go fishing because Alex is a very good fisherman. We have two ponds very close to our dacha and from time to time he goes fishing there. What else? We also have a forest very close, but in this forest we do not have a lot of mushrooms and a lot of berries. So, rather useless forest <laughs> for us, but in about 20 minutes by car there are a lot of other forests, so where we gather mushrooms, where we gather berries, raspberry, so we go there. So we are almost at home, that is the end of this small episode. Goodbye, see you soon in the next video.